All right, I'm Perry. This is in plain sight. And to my left, sir of all things, Blaze TV, the one and only Mr. Brandon Steele. We're uh, we're gonna have to switch things up on you because we just had uh, a hidden in plain sight first. We just recorded uh, the first hour and a half of this David lecture, and then when we stopped recording, we checked it, and the audio was the t they hacked our computer completely unusable. It is not our week when it comes to technology. We've had a rough one, you know. We have not had internet for the majority of the week. We have not had water for the majority of the week. Yeah. We still do not have hot water. It's yeah. uh, the universe is working against us. Now, the good news is David didn't say anything new or interesting in that first episode. No, so he kind of just rambled about his computer setup. He yes, he mostly just told us about how he's going to continue streaming when he's on vacation. Yes, his multiple hotels. There is some important information we should get to, though. We should go over this uh, this email that David has sent. Uh, this was sent. Whenever he was leaving for Canada, David has uh, traveled, he has ventured to Canada, but he ran into uh, some issues on his way there, and he felt the need to detail them to us in this email. Dear friend, believe it or not, I'm writing you this letter. Yeah, I don't know, believe it or not. He's Ripley. Believe it or not, I'm writing you this letter from a parking lot in none other than Aurora, Colorado, about 90 minutes from home, of all the places, right? I I'm set to meet someone from Grinder here <laughs> shortly. I don't know if he, if Aurora, Colorado is famous for something outside of the James Holmes shooting, or is he, is he making a James Holmes shooting joke? I don't know if he's coherent enough to do that. I think it was probably just a coinky dink. I, I, I guess he probably just kind of thinks wherever he is is a synchronicity. He just yeah. is a traveling synchronicity. Well, it's important because he's there. Michael has assured me safe passage by air for my vacation in three different dreams I had. Otherwise, I would have been driving for 11 hours two days in a row. What an idiot. What a dum dumb. That he feels the need. It's not... <laughs> The plan, uh, he was going to fly to, to Canada to hunt down Steve in Canada and kill right, him for right, sport. Right. But I guess he needed to know that the Archangel Michael approved of his travel plans. It doesn't make sense to me that flying would somehow be less safe than driving a car for 12 hours. That doesn't yeah, make a ton of I don't entirely get it. No, and I, I suppose I should also point out that I think I have uh, partially cracked the case of why, because David said he had to take this vacation now because right. he, uh, it, at the beginning of October, something is going to happen. Then I saw there's a billboard in Dallas here that had the date October 9th on it. And then when you go to the website for it, it talks about how the rapture is going to be happening on October 9th. Hell yeah, dude. So I think David is... Uh, the end is nigh. Yeah, I think he's perhaps got himself caught up in that. But we uh, will go over the October 9th shit on the stream. It's so you Bill guys, Nye, the end is nigh guy. <laughs> you guys will hear it by this time. Uh, I have healed enormously from any forms of PTSD I drove to the airport, having packed two days in advance, having planned everything perfectly, but... But! Denied. Denied. I found out my passport had last been renewed in 2013, and it had expired in 2023. Well, it's a good thing you checked at the airport. It's also a good thing Michael, who gives him prophetic visions, didn't tell him to maybe, you know, renew the no, passport. No, no heads up there. Prior, he's been talking about this fucking vacation for at least a month straight. It's a very important vacation. There, there. You need two things to get into a different country. You got to have the ticket for your travel, and then you got to have a passport. And he managed to fuck up one of those elements. Yeah. I found out my passport had been last renewed in 2013 and it expired in 2023. Out of all the magnificent planning, and I'm surprised it didn't say it's dazzling planning, magnificent planning and meditation exercises I did to have a stress-free trip, I went all the way out there only to find out they were not letting me on that plane. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a passport center nearby that you can print you a new one on the same day as you go in there with your application. That's a poorly worded sentence in good old Aurora, Colorado. We uh we were doing a little little we was doing a research on the Discord as the right. kids say right and there's only uh, like three passport renewal places and on the basis of how he describes it in this uh, email we think we found the one he used and a same day passport renewal is a thousand dollars we should uh, 
that is one part we should also bring up from that beginning section when David was uh, detailing his different equipment. He revealed to us he'd be buying an entirely new camera. Yes, to stream. oh yes, he needed one for the road. Yeah, he was going to be streaming on the road. He needed a new camera. That camera is uh, about six hundred bucks. Yeah. So David, he is before he has left the country, before he has boarded the flight, he is out sixteen hundred dollars. And then he revealed he's staying there for three weeks. And then, so in addition to having some sort of hotel or cabin for three weeks, on each of the Sundays, he has rented a separate hotel room Yes, yes. in order to be able to stream with better internet. It's the only way. So I, I, the total cost of this has to be like 15 grand, at least. At least, minimum. It's, it's, there's no way he's staying in a cheap place. I, I don't believe that for a second. Uh, right, magnificent planning. Thankfully, we have a passport center. I have to admire the irony of this whole situation. I don't know what's ironic about it. I had to stop off at Walgreens to get a new passport photo taken. Thankfully, it was much better than the last one. Well, thank God. I drove... I don't believe that either. Unless, it, if he was still vegan when he took the first one, David looked very sickly. He when did he was look vegan. like he was dying. He had... Uh, he had the... Oh, shut up. What the, do you want me to do about this kidnapped child? Did another kid... See, I turned those off on my phone. I don't care about kids dying. Stop, <laughs> stop me. coming... What the fuck do you want me to do? Yeah, no, I turned off all those emergency alerts. It's because exactly that. What am I going to yeah, do? Okay. I'm going to go jump in my car and track down the yeah. killer. Thanks for reminding me. People suck. I've got a bigger fish to fry yeah, here. Look, we're busy. Yeah, maybe maybe David can save that kid, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, so we got a new passport to photo taken. I drove home with my metaphorical tail tucked between my legs and set up the appointment as soon as I got back. Oh, why would I need to go home to set it? And here I am. In 11 minutes, I can pick it up. Well, that's the funny thing is if he had just checked this when he was packing, he could have gone and probably not missed any of his vacation days. But even if he had checked this to get a passport done in a week is like 600 bucks. That's a very uh, it's one of the most expensive documents to rush order. Well, but he had to. Well, he has to go on vacation. He would he have has literally to go on vacation. I mean, to be honest, what would have cost him more? The sunk cost of missing your vacation or the thousand dollars to get your passport. That's a decent question. I think he probably spent so much money on the vacation <laughs> that like he wants another fucking thousand bucks. I have spent three hours sitting here in the car journaling about my recent experiences and doing my best to remain peaceful, content, meditative, and positive. I had no idea what to expect. It turns out that this is a very nice corporate office park. Nothing like the sketchiness of where I once parked in Sherman Oaks for a certificate. Uh, it, it should be pointed out, Sherman Oaks is an incredibly well-to-do area yeah, in it's Southern pretty, California. It's pretty nice. Yes, it's a it, very, very upper-class, like, a lot of celebrities live there. It's not a, a junky neighborhood. Fucking disgusting area. I'm too good for you. <laughs> in that instance, Elizabeth and I were picking up our marriage license. Wow, well, you, you should have stopped. You people <laughs> live in this filth? <laughs> Archangel Michael didn't give him a fucking heads up on the marriage, <laughs> did he? And my car had been keyed by the time we got back. That's... Oh, did the youths do that? See, that's why he thought it was sketchy. Yeah, it's because he doesn't realize he has the aura of a guy who deserves to have his car keyed. Yeah, they could tell. Well, he's probably one of those guys who parks it across like three spaces. Because he just he's... parks vertically? Yeah, he doesn't want anyone parking next to him. I'm too important. I never even fixed it, but just lived with the scar. How traumatic. Yeah. Never I, forget. I'm about to drive home, and then I've got the next flight out tomorrow. The hotel is not charging me for the days I miss, but in exchange, they want half the rent up front. Wow. And now the most important part of the email. Stavati is poised for success, but we are having a true all-is-lost point before then, with massive debts that urgently need to be paid. I'm not in a position to do anything for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of money. Yeah, I can't help anymore. <laughs> when this episode, this episode will come out on the 16th. Um, and then it is the 17th or 18th. I set a reminder on my phone about a month and a half ago when David first meant, uh, mentioned the timeline. Mm -hmm. And he said he was going to have that 500 million or a billion, whatever the, the value was, by the 17th or 18th. Yeah. And then I think in that first half, he also said he was going to have... Uh, a secondary deal perhaps signed by the 15th. So it, any day now, surely by the time it's you're coming, hearing this, it's David's coming to be a billionaire. 
If you have been watching my Sunday live streams, then you know I figured out a way to stay live while I'm on vacation. Uh, yes, the way he figured out to stay live is to just use the internet. It's, <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't a, a I discovered a way to do it. Yeah, he's acting like he, yes, like it was a discovery that he figured out cameras work anywhere. Everything is reaching ahead right now, as you know. I don't need to go into the details. I had a guy approach me in the passport office who was a huge fan. No, no, he wasn't. No, wasn't. <laughs> and who excitedly asked me what timeline we were on. The Ascension timeline, I answered. Except it was probably the Ascension timeline. The Ascension timeline. <laughs> He's just scared of ah. everyone. It's all happening now. The biggest of the big stuff is who coming. Who do you work for? Um. <laughs> what do you think about November, he asked me. The only thing I can say is to expect the unexpected. Wow, what a unique and clever line. <laughs> I don't think any of it is going to go the way most people are imagining. Big distractions, spontaneous changes. You're supposed to give me money now. <laughs> <laughs> he asks for super chats yeah. and face-to-face -face conversations now. That's, <laughs> he's standing on the corner. Thanks for the $5. Yeah, thanks for Thank the dono. <laughs> The, uh, the Alliance continues to signal that we are not at all in a normal situation here, and that's why I'm writing you today. Now we're going to wow. skip his little... Uh, Radical, dude. Code word epiphany, bro. You may have missed the last email I sent out. We sold just enough from it for me to be able to barely afford to do this yeah, vacation. Yeah, barely. My first in literally five years. Yeah, this doesn't hold up. A Barely being able to afford a vacation to me would mean you at most could maybe take a three-day vacation to a location yeah. that's not that far from where you are. Not an exotic locale. Not that you buy new camera equipment, go to a different country, and live there for a month. Yeah. That's kind of, that's, that's not a poverty. It's a bit extravagant. Not a poverty move. The Lord wills it. Now, I've been hit with unexpected twists and turns, new expenses, you name. Well, they're not new expenses. You could just not pay for a vacation, or you could stop giving Stavati money. That was, okay, that was another thing he said in that first 40 minutes or so, is that uh, Stavati had uh, tapped him for a little more cash again. Oh, oh. Isn't it funny that every time David gets a little financial windfall, it just so happens that Stavati... We just need a few more bucks. They just happen to need a few more bucks. Ah, uh, you'll never believe it, Dave. Isn't that weird? It's cra This Isn't is the problem with believing in synchronicities. He has to be like, oh my God, I get money and you need it? That's... It was meant to be... He's the perfect mark. He's he the really perfect is. group. No one... I, I couldn't... God himself could not craft <laughs> a better rube. The Dude. Lord did craft him. He's a perfect creation. He's a perfect idiot. <laughs> the Lord made his perfect rube. <laughs> I imagine you read through it. Oh, did I skip a part? Uh, now I've been hit with right, un new expenses. That is why I am personally reaching out to you uh, through a mass email. Yeah, I didn't yeah. write these individually, at least I hope not. As a beloved friend and confidant, that's a little gay, and humbly asking for your help today. I imagine you read through at least some of the Michael books by now, unfortunately. Yeah. And you know how awe-inspiring they really are. That's uh, that's not how I would have described them. No, no, I don't think I had much awe inspired in me. Never before have I done such a far-reaching overview of sacred geometry at all levels of size in the universe. Well, that's not terribly interesting either. All he's doing is basically he talked about smaller shapes, and now he's just saying the galaxy has bigger shapes. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, Chris, oh, right. He recorded this other stuff. Uh, we also discussed how the Star of David shaped object is the face of, oh, right. Uh, God's a Jew. I forgot about that from last week. Well, of course. Chris Baskar joins me and adds a variety of intriguing data points from the classified world of the secret projects. In fact, we have an entire lighthearted show where we go through a very fascinating discussion of the reality of Sasquatch and how he appears in secret projects. Uh, I don't know what the fuck Chris would know about Sasquatch. I think he he's uh, one of the newer developments is he's just claiming Chris was like part of my lab and worked at Area 51. Just all the things Corey Good did? Well, it, yes, and David did that once he lost Corey too. David decided he had been to my lab, but it does seem like every time David's getting antsy about Stravati, Chris reveals uh, yeah. a new piece of information. Oh, no, you can't leave. It yeah. turns out I worked. I'm not supposed to tell you this. Yeah. I worked at Area 51. Oh, my God. I wasn't <laughs> supposed to tell you, Dave, but now that we need more money... And then David just wow. faints girl. <laughs> He's like a, a girl fainting when they see the Beatles. Yeah. More importantly, oh, wait, I forgot this part. Uh, 
The show is bursting with comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and most of the episodes end with hilarious outtakes where Chris and I make mistakes, bloopers, and embarrassing gaffes. His whole <laughs> life. <laughs> his whole life is an embarrassing gaff. Most importantly, everything Michael told you in these books is happening now. Well, that's not true. That's not true at all. It is to David. If this is something you can afford to do, it will be of immeasurable help to me. Yes, he has to go on vacation. For He hasn't revealed that yet. I, what, why? Well, and I, I was telling you this. I think my my sort of uh, my own crackpot theory at the moment, because we've seen the heaviness in David, and he keeps talking about death. He keeps talking about how you know he might not he might not make it back from this vacation. He's mentioned that several times. Yeah, I think Chris has sent him on a fool's errand to get him the fuck out of his hair for a little bit so he can try yeah. and work some razzle-dazzle and pull off a miracle here. Yeah, Dave, I need you to go pick up a, a very top-secret package. Yeah, I think he's, he's having In David Toronto. Smuggle, smuggle blow over the yeah. border. <laughs> David, <laughs> he's going to be unlocked up abroad. It's magic hover power. <laughs> powder. I th- but I, I, I seriously do kind of think that he believes his trip to Canada is some sort of life or death. and de- He's Frodo leaving the Shire yeah. right now. There may not be a return journey. That'd be terrible for us. I hope he, uh, you know, pre-tapes a lot so we don't have to come up with new content. <laughs> we'll just re-watch his old sec- uh, le- his, the shit like he does. We'll just yeah, replay yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll just, just fucking replay the, the old videos. Same lectures. It doesn't fucking matter. You can help me greatly by stepping up now and taking advantage of this insane offer. I sincerely appreciate you as a person, as a soul, and as a co-creator of our ascension. Together, we're moving into the most unspeakably amazing events in human history. This is happening now. Not months from now, the big one is upon us. And the big penis. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what it calls it. It's upon us. I think um, David likes to do this thing where he kind of stirs up fervor. Like, you know, he's saying uh, everything's about to happen. The, the end of the world is coming. Stavati's yeah, yeah, yeah. about to shut down. We're, we're going to be the ones to save the world. So we need a lot of money. That's what it comes we down to. We need money, yeah. Is he always, he works everyone up into like sort of a tizzy and then he asks for money because that's when it's best to ask someone for money is when they're fucking scared. Yes. That's the the way he, he makes everyone scared and then sells them the solution. The world's ending. You got to give me money to stop it. But yes, that, I mean, that is what he's doing. Yes. He's saying he needs that money or else you're all going to fucking die. How am I going to stop it if I'm poor? The only way to stop it is for him to go on vacation. I got to see what this breaking Justin Timberlake news is. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Please be dead. I could have made a different decision. Oh, he just got away with the DUI. I should never allow ABC News to send me information. Why they, they feel the need to interrupt my very important Liberal work. Liberal bullshit. Damn woke media. Yeah, he better be dead if you're ta- calling it breaking. What is it? Your contribution will be etched into the skein of space and time. You stepped up and helped David when he needed you most. <laughs> I greatly appreciate you and all you've done for me. I will see you in the great I told you so party. Ah, uh, Dave, I hate to tell you this, but that party's never happening. No, but this is this is why David is, is a beautiful man. Is uh, He believes that's going to happen. He believes we're the ones who've been... Uh, yeah, we're going to eat crow. Yes, yes, we're, we're like the Haitians. We're... Yeah. Very- <laughs> Where uh, we are the ones who are just I- incalculably wrong. We are. We've been grandiose in our in our theories and yeah. too self confident. And soon he will host a giant "I told you so" party. They don't understand. It's just a saying. It's it's not going to be happening. It's uh, or at least I don't think so. If David ends up becoming the savior of the world, I will certainly apologize. But something tells me that's not going to happen. I feel pretty good about our chances. We're so we're going to start today. We're going to be skipping around a lot because you're not going to believe this. But David kind of repeated himself oh. for the most part. So I, I'd like to offer a, a very huge thank you to Lily who gave me timestamps on the Discord, so I didn't have to fucking I didn't have time to go through and do timestamps this week because our internet was down the whole week. Yeah, we so were screwed. I couldn't work, and then I had to cram an extra you know three days of work into the the fucking time I tweakers. had. Internet, yeah, it's all been good. The electronics are uh, treating us very well. The technology's betraying us. So we're going to start. Uh, David has talked about this before. Hollywood has a David Wilcock fetish. They love them some David. And he's about to explain it. I can't, uh, who who was it that he said was part of the, the David Wilcock fetish last week? It was, it was some, I think it was a character in Jurassic Park or something. I, I don't remember. 
Not that it makes a difference. It's so hard to keep track. Oh, that's, it was a character who had an Australian accent, and he said they stole Colin McGeezer from him. Oh, of this course. This is the Hollywood David Fetter says Cynthia Marie Brewer. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's do it. There's a whole bunch of movies. And they love whole my bunch, ass. But there's several movies <laughs> where either villain or hero characters are strongly based on me. And on ideas <laughs> Damn, that I that's have so in cool. What a... What an insane thing to say. To just to. watch movies and think they're real enough that's to be me. like, that's me. But he, <laughs> I've said it before, but this is, this is literally, he has a child's mind. And this <laughs> is what a child does is he watches a movie and he can't feel emotions about other people. He can't. Yeah, no, it's it, always him in the movie. He can only understand it if it's directly happening to yeah. him. So he's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm Star Lord. It's that's me, me, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Alex Jones did claim he was Star Lord. They based that on him. <laughs> Hell yeah! My videos, so I've been a great source of creative inspiration. Well, how can you be a source of creative inspiration when you have none of your own? You have been rehashing the same fucking shit week over week. Yeah, one could argue you're out of inspiration because we just uh, before this. I mean, we watched the first forty minutes, and none of it was new. No, I mean, he talked about his setup for 30 minutes. But yeah, the first 15 or 20 minutes was him being like, and then I run a chord to this, <laughs> and then we have a mixer here for the audio. Various scripts, and so I would include in this, for example, okay, uh, you can look at the third movie with the guy from Matrix what? who played Neo. John uh, Wick? Why can I not think I'm, of his Because I'm in trance. John Wick, why. yes. I talk about... Wait, he's... What'd he say? Uh... Why can I not think of his name? Because I'm entranced. That's why. Yeah, that's what I call it. He's, I'm entranced. He keeps saying he's in a trance when he channeled the material. Then he's in a trance when he translates it. And now he's in a trance when he's. No, you're stupid. That's how <laughs> that, locked in he is, dude. Yeah. I talk about sacred science. What? I don't think I've seen the third John Wick. Is he going to be? He can't be Keanu Reeves. Yeah, he's Keanu, dude. Well, I guess he was Neo already. So why wouldn't he be? You think he's not going to be the hero? John Wick. <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Okay, so yeah. Keanu Reeves is playing this Except assassin Potter. in these movies, uh, and I'm trying to remember what they're called right now, but the third one where he plays the assassin, Point there's break. a villain. Oh, the, the movie is called Truth is Christ. That's not really what it is. but uh, So anyway, in these, in these movies with Keanu Reeves, um, I'm trying to remember what the hell it's called, but again, I'm in sacred science trance, so it's hard to remember. John Wick, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Somebody told me. Several of you now told me. Oh, in Fringe, J.J. Abrams' TV series, they use a typewriter just like you described to communicate the parallel universe. There's another example. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that is the perfect uh, encapsulation of the level of research that David does. He was presenting a completely different thing, and then someone was just like, uh, they have a typewriter in the show. Yeah, that's yeah, also me. That's me, too. I use typewriters to talk to alternate <laughs> dimensions. And we're at 4,350 viewers now. <laughs> <laughs> He has like a new OCD thing where he just says the number of viewers sporadically. I mean, I'm sure he probably knows the equivalent in money, and that's what he's, that's all he's worried about. He also, well, he has this weird calculus that he does where if you have enough viewers, it's because you're right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It justifies everything he's saying. Right. He so, couldn't be wrong. Right. The reason he keeps bringing it up is because he has 4,350 viewers, which means. He, he he really is in John Wick 3. <laughs> That's, it's true. So in the John Wick 3, the villain wears the sizzle jacket that I wear. He has the friend. Wait, you're the villain? Hold on a second. Let's uh, let's find John Wick 3. Oh, there's his camera. Oh, right. This was the camera. This, uh, this yeah. Osmo Pocket 3, $519. Uh, let's, I'm going to find a way to type and talk here. Oh, no. <laughs> John Wick 3, oh, I guess villain should be what I add here. That's yeah, David's Asian. David's the adjudicator. The adjudicator. The Jewish cater. <laughs> Boy, the... David, we're going to go do some killing. He... We're going to kill his dog, guys. Is... <laughs> we're going to eat it. <laughs> we're going to kill his puppy and make the Haitians eat it for dinner. Now, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I got to be honest, I'm not... Seeing David Wilcock uh, in it. Oh, that's the jacket. He isn't that just a kimono? He no, wears a sizzle jacket. That's a sizzle jacket. The David. Japanese stole that from me. <laughs> French accent, which I used in Moment of Truth. What? Uh, he 
he he has a French accent. So this is these are these are the points in his favor. The guy wears a, a kimono, uh-huh. which is just a Japanese sizzle jacket. Yeah, and then he has a French accent, which David once used in a. What the fuck is Moment of Truth, the Gangstar album? Maybe some dumb documentary he did. I don't know. Uh, there's lots and lots of parallels in that movie. That's one example. Sorry for the silence. I can't talk. And uh... It was a game show? No. That'd be cool if David was on a game show. Uh, David... It's not even coming up when I Google it. Oh, the moment of truth with David. Of Wilk. course, it's on bit shoot. Oh, it was a medallion of three faggots. What? <laughs> Hold on. Go read the description <laughs> of this video. Yeah. Even attacks. Man, oh, man. maybe that was a comment. Go back. The peace prize that Obama received was a medallion of three <laughs> faggots dancing in a circle. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's I I love uh this is another insight into David's grandiose mind. He he recorded a video and put it on Rumble and he calls it a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a documentary. Yes, it's it's a movie. Every episode we do is a movie. Cinematic. Oh, that was his reasoning for buying that camera is because he had to have cinematic quality. Yeah. He cares a great deal about the depth of field. The third well, it's got to be Galaxy blurry movie. in the back. Oh, wait, he's Guardians of the Galaxy, too? That's one example. In the third Guardians of the Galaxy movie, uh-huh. there is a hero who has gold skin, and he's got all this kind of stuff. Well, the David, if I know David for anything, it's gold skin. Is that? Yep, that's David. Yeah, he's a he's a woman, all right. <laughs> that's, he's Aisha? <laughs> That can't be what he means. Well, he's, I mean, Will this is. Holt, there he is. That, oh, yeah, that's, that's David. David. Yeah. Look at him. David is, of course, that guy looks like a, he looks like a puffer fish. <laughs> 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 it ties in with what I talk about uh, in the, in the. Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, okay. So it just, if anyone talks about anything David has ever vaguely discussed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. It's because David said it. This is. Just uh, unbelievably narcissistic. Hell yeah, dude. We've We've touched on his ego before, but I... <laughs> he says the two most common criticisms of him are uh, that he's got a big ego and that he makes money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think most normal people do not look at every movie and go, they took that from me. I'm that guy. They, they stole again. Because he's not even, I, maybe there would be a case if he like worked on a show with someone who later ended up in that movie or so, you know what I mean? Like some yeah. tangible connection. But he's just saying he talked about the same. That's not, that's not proof of anything. Galaxy 3, they also have human and animal being blended together, which I talk about as the essence of demonic energy. That shows up in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's so many examples. Oh, okay, look, uh, Alex Jones has also talked about chimeras a great deal. He got it from he got it from him. Well, it actually, I mean, it's Alex far more Alex stole likely. that from David. <laughs> David is actually Alex. Matrix remake was a very strange, like, fetishized what? insider joke about Cosmic Disclosure, the show I did with... What? The the fourth Matrix. He's gone mad. <laughs> yeah, he, he's gone. He's gone completely fucking insane. What the fuck part of the Matrix was like cosmic disclosure? Corey Good, where the Neo character represents Corey. My character. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Character would be the architect. Doesn't this this doesn't make sense though? Because David, when he cried about the Matrix, it's because he was Neo and he had to. When he was stopping the bullets, that's what made him cry. Is the thought <laughs> that one day he was going to have to stop the bullets with his with his thoughts. And uh, I, I know the movie wasn't popular hardly, but he saw it. They actually used <laughs> Corey's description of the Anshar Inner Earth community. That illustration that he drew, which by the way, Corey in his deposition said the Anshar are not real. Yeah. Exactly what they described Zion is looking like in the movie. It's identical. Zion Williams. So there's a lot of these. There's there's another one would be. Um, What's the movie? The Hunger Games. The, the most recent Hunger Games. Is oh, a yeah? I'm Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> it centers around Coriolanus Snow. He's got my hair. He looks like me. He's got blue eyes. Coriolanus and... Snow. Let's see. I mean, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I 
I feel like uh, I my mind is primed to think Corlanus. You know, my mind is primed to think about David because we talk about him a lot. Why is he? He's in fucking. He's in silhouette. Like where's, he's, yeah. Where's his picture from the movie? Where's the the man? Fuck Google. Man. <laughs> where's where's this fucking uh, woke ass Google trying to hide that real shit? Uh, which that oh. one? So he's just a twink in every movie. Yes, yes. When there's a, <laughs> when there's a, a nebbishy gay man. I'm the beautiful young man. You know, that could be it. Is David, uh, as his looks wane. That's he, how. That's what David sees when he looks in the mirror. I think so. There's a yeah. there's an old Simpsons bit where Homer is like drunk and he's looking in the mirror with his shirt off and he just sees like basically Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what David sees. Yeah, he's he got looks permanent in, drunk goggles. Yeah, he looks in the mirror and sees like a Brad Pitt type character. I'm so hot. <laughs> and he's in these old Sending military nudes bases to daddy. like the one we have. In <laughs> yes, his, his sugar daddy insider. <laughs> but that was uh, that was my other prediction. Is David's going to get trapped in Canada? And is his uh, wh- what does he even call him? Like uh, his, his his benefactor? Yeah, his benefactor. I think his mysterious benefactor is going to have to bail him out to get him back to the country. There's tons and tons of crossovers. So this Hollywood thing is very real. Yeah, yeah, it's very well, but real. But it's not. It's not real it's at all. It's very real. And I think that they're probably happy that somebody came in and got this type of prophecy. They know um, they respect. Why wouldn't if they were very happy? Why can no one talk to David? You know, like none of this happens directly. It's all through the most obscure methods with 20 steps of separation. Well, it'd be silly if it was easy. But uh, maybe my thinking is wrong. But my thinking is, let's say I was making a movie and I was insanely inspired by someone and I had uh, Warner Brothers um, services at my disposal. Right. I would probably just reach out to that person Uh instead of making a character's hair look vaguely like him and hoping that he eventually sees it and puts together... That it's about him. <laughs> like, that's just... <laughs> it's just such a fucking insane way to approach all this. Well, I mean, he thinks the TV is talking to him, yes. Boy, does he. Respect prophecy greatly in their occult society. Oh, they... Re- <laughs> the yeah. fantasy continues. It's because I'm so respected. Yeah, they think I'm so cool. Yes. They put me in their movies. Man, he... Uh, no ego, though. No, no ego. ego. Even though I'm doing it for the positive, it's kind of let HIV them off the hook positive. a little bit. Because it said, again, the events that took place in 2020 allowed us to have a non-catastrophic ascension. So they were used, and they're still going to have to be held accountable for doing negative behavior, but... Oh, yeah, wait a second. How does he... Hollywood is full of elite pedophiles. Well, it's all good because they put him in movies. I, I mean, again, that's the ego thing. Is yeah. like, I think if literally a murderer said something nice about David, he would take... Well, Carrie Cassidy literally did that with Mark Richards. OJ actually had some good <laughs> things to say about me. As a result what of they that, did to him was gross. <laughs> so on a macro Trying level, the all these things that they have <laughs> Okay, now we're going to oh, skip oh ahead. Oh, good. Let's, yeah, let's do this again. I hope this becomes a new segment in David's uh, future lectures, Swastika Talk. Let's get to some hot Swastika Talk. I mean, look, when it's called Black Sun, there's really, there's really only one direction for this. He's going to become... A racist. <laughs> you see the black sun looming in the background there. And here's another version of it. Uh, and the Liber Nigri Solus. Grimoire of the black oh, sun please say it. Piled from the work of the Arcanum Ordo Nigri Solus. Nigri Black Solus Sun. <laughs> so there you go. David. Oh, buddy. Oh, he also dropped the uh, the old the Asian sun. slur in that beginning part. Oh, yeah, I he forgot said about that. Chinks. Yeah, that was weird. The work of the Arcanum Ordo Nigri Solus, Nigri Black Solus Sun. <laughs> Nigger stole my wife. Nigger, Nigger with the big machine gun. David. Nigger stole my wife. Nigger, Nigger black with the big sun, machine gun. Bullshit. David, you gotta stop <laughs> speaking Latin, dude. <laughs> so one of the things I hope you're starting to see here is that this is the generation of the SS symbol, and it yeah. also is the generation of the classic four-sided symbol that was used by the Germans, which is now become very obviously tainted. I don't even really want to say <laughs> yeah, the word yeah, very yeah. many times. But it is actually... What a fucking undersell of the swastika. They've really ruined it for everyone else. It's become tainted due to that whole <laughs> World War II thing. That whole Holocaust. Full <laughs> of galactic geometry. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Jesus, David. <laughs> Why are you trying to rehab the swastika? 
Now, uh, going back to D- David's sort of source material here, listening to a uh, Pete, uh, not Pete Peterson, who's the other, the super horny, William Tompkins. William Tompkins. Looking at a William Tompkins or a Dr. Eyebrow's book, he talks about how, uh, you know, Madame Blavatsky and all the Theosophy Society people there, they were involved in building the, the right, spacecraft right. and shit in Antarctica. So I think he... Now, he doesn't realize that's just kind of all dog whistle racism shit for a lot of people. No, no. He's so, too stupid. I think he is... I I think David's too dumb to be racist. It's the same way I feel about Cliff High. I think he's too stupid to have malice. He's accidentally anti-Semitic. That does not mean that he's not about to do something very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Seen it so many In times. fact, I got a tattoo right here. <laughs> I found a local it's, group. It's a, it's a cross <laughs> within these other shapes coming off it like this. Well, my God, that's the galactic geometry. That's a square galaxy mm-hmm. where each, I'm each sure of the, the four Jews limbs of the galaxy yeah, is yeah, a right angle. Hollywood will love this. probably <laughs> saw galaxies that actually look like the shape that's pictured. I think when my brother was in like third grade or something, he got in trouble because he was drawing swastikas all over his page. He didn't know what they were. Oh, or maybe yeah, he yeah. did. Maybe he was a Nazi in a past life. He was very advanced. <laughs> yeah. They just felt as right. He, yes, he was doing racism at a ninth grade level. The second word in this text, okay? They probably saw those. There's probably a variety of galaxies that actually look like this. Oh, and yeah. So yeah, there's probably Germans swastika only adapted, galaxies. as I said, that's probably after Gurdjieff's it. speech in the 1920s, where he found that this same shape appears all over the world. Again, it is directly associated with the black sun and it's associated with the galactic... Well, the, the shape is not that complicated, though. It's it's basically just an incomplete square. Yeah. The geometry, because again, the galactic geometry and the geometry of the black sun are holographically identical. Wow. Okay? So let's look again at M61 and compare it to this classic symbol that I don't want to say out loud too many times. But I'm sure going to talk about it. <laughs> oh, now we're going to draw swastikas on stars? This. Look at that. You can actually see that it's almost like a hexagon. Well, I see, like, there's this line here, and there's that one there. But but these are the same things you just drew of the square shapes over last week. Well, that's the beautiful part about this, because you can also see, like, if you want to draw a pentagon, you got a pentagon kind of like there. Or if you want to go a square, you can kind of just cut it that way. Like, their version of the you can, it, these are just Rorschach tests. Yeah. The Germans were using. It it's looks got like limbs, a penis. It's got straight lines. <laughs> Just every image you see. <laughs> That's a dick. That's a penis. That's a bigger dick. <laughs> That's a black like that. dick. One on the top, one on the bottom. The hexagon in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's this is where it came from. And so Gurdjieff's um, speech talked about the worldwide presence of this symbol, which apparently was used to symbolize the black sun. So here is one graphic. What the fuck is this thing? That's the gay one. <laughs> Showing you all these different versions of it. I'm going to read them from the top left it looks like down a boss from Mario. You know, in a normal way. The Hopi symbol of that, the Christian, Maltese, Tibetan, Ceylon, China, You're Japan, getting so Islamic, close, Dave. Lapland, Hindu, Celtic, sure. Balinese. Why, who's got these fucking Dance Dance Revolution arrows? Whatever Lapland Aztec, is. Jane, that sounds Greek, like a fucking like, place you go, club. <laughs> sounds like a place you go to play like old school arcade games. <laughs> Jewish. Oh, my gosh. And here's another. Uh, Does he... David, do you know what you're doing? Like, that's just a racist cartoon. To hell that's with just... Hitler. I've been a good luck sign since the beginning of time. Yeah, that that makes it better. He's he's just, he's literally showing Nazi propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> the swastika's actually okay. Like, how, do you, how ignorant as a person do you have to be to see some of the shit and not realize that maybe someone's uh, pushing an agenda? Uncle Colin's <laughs> gonna build a gas chamber. <laughs> Uh, this guy looks like the dude from Slipknot. We're gonna gas the Jews. This is called the Man Woman's Museum. Heil Hitler, again, everyone. The, the little guy there, We're bringing it back. We're bringing back the swastika. Since the beginning of time. Yeah, this is what's really sad. It's like they made this thing so evil, so horrible. Yeah. That it's it's difficult to even talk about it. But I will. <laughs> says, oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! They borrowed it. They stole it. And you have to actually be willing to get your hands dirty and look at what this thing really is mm-hmm. and where it really came from. Yeah, give us the swastika truth. This was yeah. built by, the symbol was made by positive ETs whose knowledge got stolen and then it got well, made into something bad. Why didn't they do something it about it? To be. So look at this. This. Oh, God, David. This is crazy. <laughs> this is an American poster from before World War II. See? <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was before World War II. It's the meaning of the the symbol has it has changed slightly. It has shifted a little since about 1945. <laughs> it actually has the word on it, 
and says it is a good luck symbol of light, life, and love. And there are but isn't that like what isn't that why the Nazis used it? Wouldn't you want a good luck symbol when you're going into war? Yeah, when you gotta kill some people. Like I don't I don't think the Nazis uh, viewed it as like a symbol of hate and division. No, they thought it was cool as hell. No one ever views themselves as the bad guy. They're always the good guy. Bro, you got to think of the branding. Like it's pretty <laughs> cool. It means light and love. Werner von Bra. Yeah, von Dude, dude, it's actually a pretty cool symbol, dude. If you look at the history, it's pretty sick. On the bottom, right below the symbol itself in red, is your black sun. So again, I didn't make this up. There's a direct association between well, the symbol. And I know the black you didn't make up the swastika. <laughs> so after Gurdjieff did this, it was also brought out in a Yale University oh, study, boy. and this oh, is an actual oh. diagram from that study. Uh, it's been suppressed online. It's hard to find. What the fuck does? What does this mean? What? A, it's just a map with swastikas all over it. <laughs> This is just some skinhead in algebra drew this on his paper. It's almost impossible to find it, but every place... Well, yeah, you got to hide top secret yeah, information yeah. like swastikas on a map. You see one of these symbols is a place where an indigenous culture had this shape given to them by their uh. gods. So, of course, the Germans wanted to get in on this. Of course, they wanted to harness that magical power and use it for themselves. But wait a minute, are you saying that everybody... Who was visited by human ETs? They were evil. No. So who no. made fidget spinners that look like swastikas? Because I feel like we could really corner the market there. I'm sure someone thought of whatever it. the overlap is between neo Nazis and fidget spinners. Neo Nazis wanna... that need to spaz out every now and then. Yeah, who stim? It was perverted. It was used as something evil. It wasn't meant to be. I still don't want to even say the word out loud. But it's in Africa. It's in. Well, Europe, then let's keep in... showing more Nazi <laughs> the, uh, propaganda. It's in China. It's in Eastern China. I hope it shows Japan. the Happy Merchant. And here it is worldwide. <laughs> Look at how many Native Wow, we got it. Wait, California? Is that what's going on over there? American yep. cultures have it. It's in Af it's in Alaska. It's all over the Americas. Well, that it's in means South it's America. Good. It's in Africa. Yep. It's in Europe. It's freaking everywhere. And the entire science has been censored. <laughs> <laughs> the woke mob is censored and they're trying to get rid of the swastikas. He said this came from a paper, but I find it Heart. Maybe it was written on a piece of paper, and that's what he means. But I don't. This does not seem like something that would be included in research papers, because usually research involves, you know, uh, hard facts and numbers, and not just doodles on a map. The libtards don't want <laughs> you to know about the swastika. You can still go into Buddhist countries and see it all over the place on the chest of the Buddha. All three of these Buddhas have it on Buddha's, their chest here. Buddha says, uh, here kill the skin. Jews. Oh, six million, not enough. <laughs> uh, Confucius say. Form. Finish job. Smoke snack. Need be bigger. <laughs> Mycenae, I believe. Here it is again on Buddha's chest. You can see if you look Buddha really closely. Say. All I'm saying is there were no Jews there. No usury. <laughs> the <laughs> Buddha say, shapes. don't trust the bank. There. Here it is, even in a Who modern day. Who owns the porn sites? Okay, now it's next to a bank. <laughs> like, this is... This is uh, in, a, in a Buddhist country where it says temple, and you see that shape in blue. An old Arizona highway sign actually had this. All right, David, this doesn't not mean... That sign isn't from before 1945. Well, he's just acting like there's never been racists in America, or like <laughs> people who hated... like. We had the fucking clan. There were a few people who did not like Jews in America. Henry yeah. <laughs> Ford being among them. Like they all rode Harleys. Yes. Seven eighty nine. Where it was a Hopi piece of pottery that had the shape on it because it appeared there. So the Indians had this. Well, psychedelic. Native Indians. Uh, that's the grooviest swastika <laughs> I've ever seen. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Here it is again in the Native American Indian diagram. You know what this reminds me of is, is I was in a. What's the Jerry's Deli once with someone and he kept using the word niggardly <laughs> and we kept having to argue with him. Like, I understand that means something else. Yeah. But if you could maybe stop saying that out loud Can in this stop, crowded restaurant. Stop screaming it at blacks. Yes, because it's making it's making people uncomfortable. It is one of those words that like, I think it's technically still allowed, but we all know what you're going there for. There was a, a big sort of kerfuffle many, many years ago. I think it was a Washington politician had used that and then the Washington Post read like a huge article about how it was racist. Oh. But they, I don't think they knew what the word meant at the oh, time. Oh, they yeah. thought he made one up on the fly? Well, I think he, they thought it was an adjective for... N-word. Oh. <laughs> Illiterate idiots. Yes, he did it very... N-wordly. <laughs> was... That does feel like it's what it should mean. Here's what yes. the Hindu yeah. forms of it. Here I mean, it's again in another the Hindu temple or Buddhist temple. I think this is Hindu. You notice there's two at the top and then one in, on the bottom. And again, this symbolizes the black sun. This is more Greek pottery that shows it. 
Another example of my well, The Greeks pottery. are pretty racist, too. I just like to assume a, all these are anti-Semitic cultures, and we just didn't realize <laughs> it. I want to see what he searched on Google to get all these images. Just sitting. I have no doubt Ezra is the one who did this. Oh, yeah, he's been radicalized. He's yeah. like, he is the poster child for the guy who's been radicalized by fucking online nonsense. Yeah. Can you imagine the 2008 David Wilcock being like, the swastika is actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, normally you would think he would be a skinhead, but here he's definitely not. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> brown. Sure he, jams, he couldn't hate he Jews. Like, <laughs> crazy on that thing. Here it is again, <laughs> Hindu Buddhist. Even the Dalai Lama, you know, uh -huh. they, they revere the symbol enough that they didn't even bother not to display it for everybody. Oh, no, it would, the, the Jew. it would cost <laughs> too much to repaint. <laughs> Let's just leave it as it is. <laughs> I'm very cheap, just like Jew. <laughs> just, <laughs> some old Greek. No, no, this would be too expensive. We need to tighten the budget. They have few good ideas. <laughs> it, the uniforms <laughs> were pretty at, cool. Uh, just, uh, the guy who begrudgingly <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we have the more common association there. Whoa, the uh, dude, what are you doing, man? He does know there was a Nazi party in America, right? I, I mean, we. I'm blown away that we're just now showing pictures of Hitler. It's this is going down a uh, uh, pretty sick and also troubling path. I think if we were on Rumble, I, I think we'd be getting David maybe doing a bit of Holocaust revisionism. Well, if he keeps this up, he might get a strike. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's this is depending this is, on where you go. This is dangerous territory, a uh, dangerous terrain. But once to try again, and he's, traverse. he's buffooned himself into becoming a Nazi sympathizer. Now, I will say that's like an autistic person that gets into you know fucking Nazi paraphernalia. Yeah, You're like, yeah. well, I mean, I don't think they get why it, <laughs> what it means, but they just think it looks cool because they're retarded. I hope David. I hope he covers this material on his website. This is what I will pay for if David a manifesto just, of sorts. Yeah, just his racist manifesto. Right, but what the hell is going on here on the left? Now check this out. This is a really big one, folks. It's. In, uh -oh. I think he literally doesn't know there were Nazis in America. No, <laughs> I, I don't. Flag. So this is an American propaganda poster from before World War II. Well, hold on. What's uh, what's it say on the poster here? May our glorious flag and this lucky star <laughs> guide you and keep you wherever you are. Man, we could really make a slogan back in the day. And hopefully there's it's, no it's Jews. Got a black star, the black sun. The black sun is inside the center of this shape, you guys. And what does it say? It says, if you can read it, the I'm black you sun zoom is in what you David's going to have if he ever gets but married. The text on the bottom oh, says, God, May our I glorious hope. flag and this, quote, lucky star. It's a black star, black sun inside that shape. May our glorious flag and this but, lucky black... But the image is next to a picture of Adolf Hitler. <laughs> he really... It is funny. He just hasn't acknowledged why Hitler is in this picture. Yeah. For those just listening, Hitler is literally half of our screen. Yeah. Right? And we don't know Guide why. and keep you wherever you are. And when they make things rhyme like this, they're doing that on purpose. Oh. Oh. oh, oh they didn't accidentally rhyme. Yeah. Because rhyming verse gets into your subconscious. Hart Walker says, it reminds me of our native North American names. We are supposed to carry ourselves in a good way. They're native Indian names and not dirty the name. I don't trust the chat with this topic. Yes, N-word. N-word. And so, again, this is, and somebody said thank you for the like donations. This. I don't Absolutely. like talking about this stuff. Guys are donating. <laughs> so, again, this is Native American. This is Buddhist. This is Greek. This is Japanese. Oh, this God, is... I hope he just starts buying swastika memorabilia and putting it up He's behind him and him. shit. No, I'm this reclaiming it. This is in Mesoamerica, it's in South America, it's in North America. So please don't try to say that the shape is evil. Th these guys did yeah. this. He still has not acknowledged that Hitler was on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine why anyone would say this is evil. Why do they keep thinking of evil things <laughs> when they see the symbol? This dude, so that it always is thought of as, oh my God, it's a symbol of evil. No, 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 you got to go well, deeper than that. I'm willing to get you to... I open. feel like it was, it's was. it been corrupted enough yeah, sometimes that it is now... It's kind a of symbol a symbol of evil. No one's using it for good purposes the, anymore. The same way he ruined that mustache. Yeah. It just, like, technically I understand the mus mustache is not a, a symbol of evil. But I think if you ran to a guy in everyday life who, who had the fucking Hitler stash, I yeah. think everyone kind of look at him and go, wow, that's 
That's a weird. That is a weird choice. It's really a testament to how you know great Hitler was. <laughs> Open your mind. He ruined it for uh, yeah. for everyone. He he was so good at what he did that you can't even use any of the symbology. Which is even more impressive because we had a cool guy at the time, Charlie Chaplin, who had the same mustache, but his cool factor was not enough to overpower no, what that's how, the Adolf did. That's how good the aura was. <laughs> and again, why does this particular poster call it a lucky star? Because again, that same we that need same a five-sided shape. star instead of a six-sided <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, we got to put yellow stars the, on them. The, 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 the uh, windmill type. We of just mark them all. We have this problem solved. <laughs> Let's reopen the internal. The, 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 the windmill appears on a galactic level. But God, it's how cool one. would that be if he just goes full fucking Nazi? It'd be like, so it, sick. It says a solar system also like has that's how this ends. Is he just gets banned from every platform? Geometry. It'll be him and Marina. So the black sun once again. The lucky star. Will She's guide my you favorite. You wherever Nazi. you are. Now here it's it only right okay for her, David. Well, if I did have to pick a favorite Nazi, it would be her. Yeah, I can get over it for the hot blonde, but <laughs> sorry, saying, Dave, you don't have tits. Well, the black Not son adopted yet. by the <laughs> fool society. Donate. <laughs> I'm getting titties. Just put the dono bar up. He's going to do the finster and just start dressing like a woman. <laughs> it was a joke, but now <laughs> I just feel so pretty. Contemporary German federal law forbids you to display this symbol. <laughs> That's how much I trouble. wonder why, dude. Yeah, why Why might the Germans be sensitive about the swastika? <laughs> they made the symbol have. You can't even show this in that country, apparently, if you were to try to publicly display well, it. Well, they did kill a bunch but of Jews again, with it. Got, yeah, I think they earned the that one. The star. It's a black star with this two vertical lines black and then there's crossbars like, on uh, there. Most deaf and that's what it is. It's the black oh, sun. that's what, that what he's right talking there. about. Yeah. <laughs> His societies. favorite rap album. Here's another example of the black sun symbol. David, this <laughs> one was not used for is. good. This is That one is very specifically for the Nazis. 1919, the Thule Society, this the black sun symbol. Bizarre. At the bottom it says Thule Gerselschaft. Okay, and then here it is in color. Well, thank you. <laughs> so now you're seeing. I needed it colorized, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't tell before. Now I understand is rounded off. It's rounded off like a black sun, okay? So this is actually a black sun symbol. It's just people didn't know any of this stuff. And in the very early days, when they when Germans were getting started, you got the SS on the bottom. That's part of it. When he says they were getting start... What, started with what, Dave? Do you, you want know, to fill, I, fill in the end of that sentence? I think he means the Holocaust. And then notice that black sun symbol on the wall. In this case, it's rounded. So before they squared it off, which was what we see in Hinduism, Buddhism, Native American, Mesoamerican, everywhere... Before they rounded it off, before they squared it off, sorry, they made it round. Well, it like, looks it looks better squared off. The round doesn't have the same. Uh, no, it doesn't pop quite yeah, the this same. Illustration, very interesting. And here is one of their early Panzer tanks. David, these are has, no, <laughs> this is Nazi footage, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's just a tank pi- uh, parked it, on top of a pile of Jewish bodies. Yeah, if uh, you want to show Hindu <laughs> photos, maybe you can make an argument. This is just the Nazis. Yeah, he's not. Uh, that's a very good point. Is he is not showing us. The, the images where it was used in a positive light. He is literally showing us pictures of Nazis. Is it rounded off on the tank? So look, I didn't make this up. This is very interesting. It's we know you didn't yeah, make up know. the swastika. Black Dude. sun symbol. All the science has been lost. Ah, David. Off- the science? <laughs> <laughs> the race science. <laughs> We're bringing it back. They're hiding the real science about the white race. Deutschland, Deutschland, over out. I <laughs> am the Ubermensch. Coupled with the eagle. <laughs> Somebody said Himmler's Florida's castle. Yep, they had it there too. So here's another weird Mesa. Yes, it was in Himmler's castle. <laughs> type of symbol. <laughs> he never did anything bad. Me. These two, th- this now represents our sun and the black sun, and these are the mounted riders. Notice they are forming geometry between them as they fight each other. That's what David And the does guy to on the right has the black sun on the mounted <laughs> rider. <laughs> This is another classic example where the... Ooh, it's a blue bird. Oh, it's a blue avium. Ooh. Where the, the windmill is inside a circle. Again, a very common German symbol of their badges and stuff. And here's another black sun symbol. Now, notice this. This you got. Really I hope look. he uses this slideshow on the speaking circuit. I want to see him. <laughs> I want to see this slideshow at contact in the desert. Just a bunch of horrified <laughs> old white people this, and crystal bitches. Yeah, a bunch of crystal bitches watching a 30 minute slideshow on swastikas. Look at this one carefully, because on the top look at left Hitler's you've got drip. the sun. Okay, <laughs> the top right you've got the moon. Breaks out the same and coat. Then this yeah. Skeleton is standing on the black sun. I won't let him ruin it for me. <laughs> which means death. So part of the teaching is that the energy that's given off by the black sun, yeah. which is Proxima Centauri, I believe. You know, the ETs 
had to simplify it, so they didn't bring in the other two stars of Alpha Centauri. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just yeah. gave you Proxima and called it the Black Alpha Sun. Alpha Centauri. That's the one that went off in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> exactly on that day. Alpha. Yeah, they, they really loved him. 4.242 years to get here. <laughs> Alpha in a Nazi outfit. So Alpha the Centauri. skeleton is, it represents death and rebirth with the raven, Putrefactio, he's standing on the black sun symbol. He sure because is. Because this is what transforms flesh into immortality. It's the geometry. We're orbiting the black sun 25,000 years. We're orbiting through its geometric fields. So it's the same thing, uh -huh. like the law of one says, fractally is the whole galaxy. God, I hope this ends in a manic episode where he carves a swastika into his chest in order to, like, he, he needs... I the, need the symbol on me to ascend. Well, that's how you open up, like, the port. That's the portal yeah. to the other Does realms. it like he's fucking part of Voldemort's clan? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's a Death like, Eater, he's just level. carving it into his wrist. It's, it's here's the dark another mark. Example. He, he just keeps carving swastikas into his left. body. He already does kind of have the emotional uh, timber of a, of a, like, a emo girl who cuts themselves yeah so i don't think we're that far away from him carving esoteric symbols into his chest i need to feel something while listening to lil peep <laughs> yeah, and i'm sorry the sun is on the right here the moon is on Hopefully the left taking fentanyl. and then you got a skull and crossbones inside <laughs> the uh, sonic his live compass. streams are seven hours Again, now because yeah. he's not on the soundcloud david and here the skull and crossbones symbolizes the black Check sun there's also a star beneath <laughs> that circle and then you notice there's egyptian pyramids over there You've got the beehive, which represents that the, the activities inside the hive are not seen by those on the outside, like the Masonic Lodge. And on the bottom right, you've got a miniature little obelisk. So all these Egyptian symbols. So this is ancient Egyptian mystery school knowledge about the Black Suns, hidden teachings that we didn't get to know about. And I want to give it to you now. So here's another really strange yeah, one. Yeah, oh yeah. Where you've got <laughs> to keep hitting us with the swastikas. The, the arm, well, it looks like the Tin Man from, from fucking Wizard of Oz with swastika arms. Like well, that's why he was we'll alone. Yeah. Kept fucking and being anti-Semitic and shit. If I only killed the, the jury. Right <laughs> <laughs> they're at right angles, just like this black sun That's why he was showing. going to the Emerald yeah, City. So yeah. That's where he thought they were. I need Zyklone B. His legs are two pillars and his face is a star. Uh, they just the turned his torso into a pressure <laughs> bomb. <laughs> they used it to kill the drugs. They cooked him so inside yeah. of him. Another example of the <laughs> He was the oven. Together uh. because his face is a sun. Okay? <laughs> now, this is one you're going to see over and over and over again. The hell is, is This is the first degree entered apprentice Masonic tracing board is what it's called. So when you go into the Masons, when you're inducted into Freemasonry, the first degree that you have, they give you some variation of this symbol to wow. look at. It's called a tracing board because they actually want you to draw it. Uh -huh. So many different guys have drawn their own versions of this thing. But this is very, very significant because what you see here is you got the sun on the left. You Normally the ladder goes to the black sun. So this one's a little bit off. The sun on the left. You couldn't have got moon one on that's the right, right. And the black sun, which is also, again, represented by the all-seeing eye. Wow. Yet another <laughs> example. It could be skull and crossbones. It could be that windmill symbol. It can be the all-seeing eye. It can be a star. All of these things represent the black sun because, again, it's the energy of the black sun and the energy fields that it gives off that propels us into ascension. That's the big secret that the positive ETs originally wants to know, and then it all got perverted. Notice also the, the tools of the craft. You got the, uh, <laughs> just the plumb illiterate. bob on the right. You got the square on the left. And there's another square in the middle there. Mima it looks 12, like Mina 12. that, that uh, checkerboard pattern looks like a Mario 64, which I did a have. A little in, bit, yeah. There's a, uh, a kind of a schizo YouTube essay about how Mario 64 is just a giant Masonic ritual. That wouldn't which, shock me. It, it, it's a fun watch. That's why I just donated. Um, oh, yeah. And then Peter Nuss says, great in addressing the Thule women. They were big in remote viewing. The black sun was considered the cross or sun and the energy frequency it emits. Laureato says, what is the significance of the black sun? Well, this is actually an object. I hate Jews. It's orbiting in a 25,000 year cycle. And it's giving off geometry just like our sun gives oh, off nothing. geometry. I'm just racist. Place, I, I just, so I just, you know, they're the reason I'm in debt. Uh, well, that... That does kind of track is that David yeah. loses all his money. He's like, those fucking Jews. The <laughs> IRS. It's on the borders of its own solar system in Alpha Centauri and crashes into our solar system. And I'll show you diagrams of this a little bit later. As we hit this geometry, we are getting ascension. That's part of this thing. So it's the black sun is actually what kicks okay. our ascension. I think that may be the end of swastika talk. Let's... Carolina. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, jump ahead a bit further here. Let's let's get to when David comes back from his, his pee break. Where is that at? The, uh, the preface to this is last week... Um, David did not wash his hands. I don't no, believe he was, he was very, uh, very specific about that. 
Can't do that right now. I don't have any AC adapter for this, so that's kind of a drag, but whatever. I've at least got one of them and part of another one, and I'll probably redo both of them later tonight. I'll get it all done, make new recordings, and uh, get it all to work. Sure. So anyway, sure it looks well. terrible. Oh, we lost some people. We I guess some <laughs> of you guys took a little break, or maybe you're going to come back no, later. No, they probably what went to sleep this? in Hope Australia. Wash your hands. For God's sake, I'm not going to wash my hands. <laughs> not going to wash my hands. No, I don't need to. My... My privates are very, very clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, cheers to that. Yeah, cheers. cheers to your clean dick, Dave. <laughs> cheers to your dry penis. <laughs> my privates are very, very clean, you guys. Yeah, yeah, they are. No, very my clean. dick is clean. <laughs> they are just to make you happy, okay? <laughs> I'm just sizing uh, this. Pours I just water on his hands. Okay, fair everything ruins all his equipment. I made a big mess, but whatever. Okay, so I hope that you can now see that this Black Sun discussion All right. is very, well, very relevant to what's going on again. now. This is actually been broken down. Rarely <laughs> does not picture read the word, the other word because <laughs> yeah. it's still Oh, no, that's lighter. Cardi B. It's oh, absolutely okay. there. She's so, that is just she's crazy. so I'm hot. Say that's an accident. Give me a freaking break. Give me a freaking break. Yeah, anyway, yeah next, Cardi, give me a break. They're preparing you. I'd give her a Black Sun. They're going to do something sun. in November, <laughs> and they don't want you to be freaked <laughs> out about it, so they're setting it up right now. The media is openly admitting that there's going to need to be several days in order for them to figure out what happened. They're psychologically preparing you for what they've already planned. Oh, yeah, yeah, 44 yeah. second video, as you can see, and it says, before he departs on Friday, he will send an important message via X. God bless, and we don't know what that is yet, so I'll be watching you know, fervently this coming weekend to see what that's going to be. There's lots of other things going on that are cool in the news. Oh, yeah. This past week, we had <laughs> Dark Pluckerberg <laughs> <laughs> is that telling new? us, oh, yeah, you know, well, we were pressured, and <laughs> we had to take this stuff down. Very interesting. Very we got good old Wild Bill, who wants to put all these. Uh... <laughs> oh yes, this is. I love his Bill Gates. It seems to me that the scenes that we would place in the Ethiopian country would be more appropriately situated if they were genetically. This doesn't sound to anything. Nothing it's about not this close. is like Bill Gates. He no just has glasses on. He's just shining like this and then moving I'm his arms. Bill Gates. <laughs> I'm Bill Gates. It's exactly what we talked about. Yes, in all his uh, in all his uh, impersonations. He just says the name of the impersonation yeah. <laughs> he's doing. Being modified, of course, we're we're only doing this because we want to have the children be so much healthier. Because we've got very special things in these scenes, and make it a lot better for you than the other types of scenes that we were using before. Yeah, I'm real wow. gay. I'm what, real gay. What I'm gay. Excellent, excellent impersonation. Riveting stuff, Dave. That's, uh, that's that improv comedy. He's no been one, working no on. one does impersonations like David. Master of the art, as as they call him. <laughs> You can't make this stuff up. Then we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she got in so much trouble for this. This star from the what? WNBA. She's the fuck almost is got this? her shirt's like Filthy about to fall harlot. over. Boob hanging out. No, oh, you. Again, you know, showing ew, it to you for scientific research purposes only. Mm -hmm. And then, well, she's all half naked in the nightgowns, practically bursting open. <laughs> she's telling you, "Oh yeah, yeah, you got to go get the treatment." <laughs> really? So here we go. Here it is, folks. Yeah, look at her. She's got this fucking sultry smile on her face. Reese. She's yeah, it's cradling Reese. this microphone that happens to have a pink. Top on the on it, you know. Oh, oh it's God. a cock. And she keeps like oh, wobbling she's the sucking microphone back the dick. and forth while she's talking. To oh. David really does always see penis. <laughs> He's just so horny. <laughs> this microphone For that penis. happens to have a pink <laughs> top on. The I wish I had a oh dick in my mouth. Can we? Keep... Someone please make a gif of what we're about to watch. It's like wobbling the microphone back and forth <laughs> while she's talking to us. It's very, very uh, 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 creepy uh, and sexualized and bizarre. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Her name is Angel, and she made a bizarre statement saying that this thing is making a comeback. Uh, they're um. obviously trying to reignite people's fears with celebrity endorsements. She promotes the treatment and eagerly awaits the next time she can get one. I'm in line. I'm waiting. The timing is uncanny, as U.S. hospitals will begin reporting this in November, right before the election. And then there she is. You can see her boobs are hanging out. <laughs> and, uh, you know. Disgusting. Just wish Yuck. Phil. hair would move a little bit, wouldn't you? Oh, I do no. not. I do not like that. David wants to see some titties. And, uh, you know, you just wish that hair would move a little bit, wouldn't you? Ooh. <laughs> did I actually say that? I didn't say that, did I? No. Oh, anyway. Dave, you were horny Oops, so on live. Yeah, he's he's getting too horny. <laughs> he needs... <laughs> this is why he has to flee the country. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we're going to conclude that there. And then... 
We've got, uh, we're going to do, for Friday's episode, we will do David on Nino, because we uh, we lost the first half of this. But, we goofed. Uh, yeah, he talks about the same shit on the Nino thing, so it's all it's all pretty much the same. And it all, it gets there eventually. For the Patreon episode, uh, we'll be watching Eleven Saucers, which was suggested on the Discord about this, this nice. weird guy who fucks aliens. That's always cool. Patreon.com slash shit in plain sight pod, uh, at uh, Hidden Plain Sight Radio on Instagram. You are at Brandon Steele Hidden on Instagram. We are at The Hidden Pod on Twitter. Saturday live streams, uh, 6 p.m. Central. Hoodoo. Mom out.